Hello everybody, my name is Angel Hester and welcome back to Space Engineers. Okay, uh, surprisingly, no, as I'm sure you've noticed from the title of this uh, video, this is not about the Death Stars. This is in fact, if I can find it, good god, how, how did I travel this far? Anyway, this is all about my new solar uh, satellite. I almost forgot the word. But yes, this is all about the solar satellite. Now, uh, many of you who have been with the channel for a while know I have an almost obsessive love of renewable energy, or at least energy where I don't have to do shit with it. Uh, be it Factorio, where I don't have to put fuel in the boilers in order to keep them running, or uranium ore to keep the nuclear reactors going. This is solar power at its finest. Now, this solar satellite is, like, is 122.5 meters long and wide. Ignore my movements, just go with it. Anywho, so yes, it is six by four, so there's 96 solar panels on this. So it is a bit of an investment, but very well worth it because this at peak efficiency will use or generate, I should say, 34 megawatts. Now you stick... 10, maybe 20 of these, you can keep a moderately sized base going. Now, you may be asking, but how does the power get sent to, say, a planet? Now, ignore... Eh, you know what? Screw it. I'm recording. I, I... Well, maybe I shouldn't improve the graphical settings, but... There we go. Yeah, yeah, this is why... It, okay, oh, nope. Okay, there we go. Oh, better. Anywho, so, yes. How do you get the power from the satellite to a planetary surface without building this, you know, on the planet? And, oh, wait. The sun rotates. Well, <laughs> only in space years, not in real life. Well, it's simple. If we fly on down, um, ignore the fact that there's only one of these, but attached would be batteries with merge blocks on both ends. Basically, the battery pack would be as big as you want it. And if we fly over yonder way, these are getting very close to being fully charged. and. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh my. 96%. That's not good. Now, why is this so special? Well, simple, my dear boys and girls. Do, 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 do. As we fly over yonder way to the project projector programmable block, run. Any time now. Oh, come on. I just had this working. Why you no work? Ugh. This is a temperamental... Oh, wait. Do I need more gyros? I suspect I need more gyros. Of course, why should anything work properly when I want it to? Uh, for symmetrical sake. Uh, Come on. There we go. See, this is actually tracking, oh, my dinner's done. This is actually tracking the sun automatically. 
and it is a script by Izzy, or I-S-Y, the, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so at peak efficiency, this solar array, or solar satellite, can produce 34.6 megawatts. Now, of course, this is provided the the darn thing would stop being temperamental and go towards the max efficiency. It is temperamental, but I, as long as I get 30 megawatts out of this, I'm perfectly fine. So, yes, you can build 10, 20, hell, even 100 of these, spread them all around the solar system, and you have excellent power output. Now, as I said, basically, you just build a little, uh, whatchamacallit, little battery pack or battery bank. This is 10 uh, batteries right here. And, hell, you can build it... Well, I wouldn't recommend building it further than what the actual solar array is, because that's not really efficient to take up more space than what the solar panels take, but it is your call. Now, for the little tour that I probably should have done at the beginning. Anywho, so the central uh, back, or the central... Eh, the center lines, whatever, are basically filled with oxygen generators. So if you're... If you only play in space, not like me, where I'll play, well, anywhere. But if you do play in space exclusively, although I do play in space a majority of the time, you could basically use this to keep going. Basically, to have oxygen, although... Good luck with the hydrogen, but meh. Take what you will. And of course the solar panels, and just below those we have the thrusters placed just ever so slightly right here. That way it lines up perfectly with the edges. And behind those, on all four sides, are going to be batteries that are going to be for the solar array exclusively. That way, say you disconnect all of these because you plan to either move the or all the battery packs because you plan, I don't know, to move it or I don't know, you got one of those crew members that removes the battery pack but doesn't place in one that has been depleted, like they forget. This still has its own power backup in case of an emergency and if this does get nudged in any way there are thrusters on all sides although the edges are very good the eh, the up and down thrust not so much and so yeah it's very minimalistic but as I said it's not really designed for crew habitation although you can certainly occupy it I don't recommend it just because if you get into the cockpit as it reorients itself, oh, this is so awesome. But as uh, if you occupy the cockpit, the script stops working until you get out just because it's a safety feature according to the uh, script author. Oh, that is so cool. I can't wait to get about 50 of these. I'll probably build these a little further out uh, from the Death Star construction just so that way it's out of render range so I don't overload my uh, my PC but <clears throat> to see 10 of these all moving with the sun. Oh that'll be awesome. Oh yeah and it does have a uh, antenna that way you can find it. Um, otherwise, yeah, oxygen tanks down below, just in, as I said, you can hook this up. It's not really the most efficient way to get oxygen in space. I mean, you could probably have an oxygen farm and do better, but... But yeah, 83 liters of oxygen and we're only producing 1.8 liters, uh, yeah, 1.8 liters per farm. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are more. So it says a hundred uh, plus. I actually removed some as I was building this. Uh, there will be a time lapse after the uh, outro. <laughs> kind of redundant, but there will be an outro. Or this will be out of the outro, just so you can see the overall design phase. But wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I don't do math very well. So 72 times four. Okay, there's over 200. Gee, I can't do math. Oh, crap. Probably why, because I'm suffocating to death. I had that in the back of my mind, but no, I decided I, I'd rather suffocate. Okay, now that that's all sorted. So yeah, it's, as I said, it's very minimalistic, but you also have to remember I run a vast interstellar empire, hence how I'm able to build, admittedly, a mi minor, oh please, if I could build this Death Star in one-to-one -one scale, I would, but I can't because my computer would kill me. But anyway, I know it's minimalistic, but it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to sit here, wait for it to generate all this power. It's supposed to basically just be there, and if you lose one of these, it's not the end of the world, unless it's your only one, but in which case, how did you build this if you only have one? Like, you're going to need more than 30 megawatts of power, but that's all beside the point. Anyway, so with that said, yes, you can find this in the Steam Workshop down below in the description will be a link to not only this, but my entire workshop to where you can pick up whatever your hearts may desire. And if you're watching this far enough into the future, yes, it will include my Death Star. Death Stars. Anywho, let's see how effective this is. We're just gonna shift and yep, there she goes. Okay, it's not exactly supposed to move like that, but... Nope. Stop. Ah, well. Thank you all so much for watching. As I said, down below in the video description will be a link to my Steam Workshop to where you can get this and my other projects. I hope you enjoyed this video, and... I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. <clears throat> it's so pretty. Isn't there something wrong with me? Reinforcements on. Actually, don't answer that. I'll just say ready yes. for action. Upgrade in progress. You've let unidentified. <laughs>